See that I, as soon as I stop bicycling, I stop moving. And I can go back the other direction. CSU's Class of 96 and NASA astronaut Chell Lindgren returns to campus after spending 141 days orbiting Earth as a flight engineer on the International Space Station. So it's great to be back here. Beside him sits Dr. Susan Bailey, who studies astronauts' chromosomes when they return home. He's literally been giving blood for our study. <laughs> and so we take that blood and we're able to look at and measure telomere length before, during, and after his mission. Lingren says that giving blood is just a part of the job, a job that he's thankful to hold the weight of. The tens of thousands of people have spent hundreds um, of thousands of hours creating, if not millions of hours, mm -hmm. building. And there are just a very few of us that actually get to experience the real thing in flight. And he says that his time as a CSU Ram changed things. In some ways, I really felt feel like my journey in earnest to space started here. Seeing his work as a graduate student come full circle. It's called the Brasa. That was the, the subject of my master's thesis. And I got mm. issued a pair of those for space flight. It's been about 20 years since Dr. Lingwin graduated from CSU and he still holds a strong connection to campus and students that may follow in his footsteps. Behind me he's about to begin a keynote address where he describes his six-month journey in space. Taking the limelight away from himself, Lingren seemed to surround his story around one key message. If you have that goal, you have that destination, you've got to work hard, you've got to bring it. Kay Bennett, CTV News.